us would immediately look for a cup of coffee every time we wake up in the morning. But when we are talking about numbness, pinsa needle sensation, either in the hands, the leg, and in the foot, is coffee really a friend or a foe? You will know that in this video today. Hi, this is again Doc Sherry, Doctor of Physical Therapy. I'm glad to have you here. Not able to reply to all your comments you can be rest assured I am reading them and one comment actually caught my attention she mentioned here that she noticed that there is increased pain in her lower leg and foot every time she drinks three in one coffee is this observation valid and legit is there an explanation for this well let me tell you up front that coffee is not bad Actually, there are many studies which have validated that it can give you benefits, anti-inflammatory benefits as well as antioxidant benefits because it contains polyphenols. And look at this study here. It actually showed that regular consumption of caffeine had been linked to decreased risk of Parkinson's disease and dementia. When we talk about Parkinson's disease, this actually affects a part of the brain that is responsible for smoothing body movements. At the same time, when we talk about dementia, this refers to memory loss pertaining to an affectation in our neurons or nerve cells in the brain. Plus, this study here actually validated that regular consumption of caffeine actually decreases pain sensitivity. And although this study was not directly done pertaining to neuropathic pain, this can actually benefit patients because do you know, one of the common complaints of patients diagnosed with nerve damage is what we call as allodynia, in which case even a non-painful stimuli like a gentle touch or even a blanket in your skin can give you already severe pain. So yes, coffee is not a foe when it comes to nerve pain. Actually, it can give you benefits. But here is an important part that is not often given attention. Timing and the type of coffee is very important. Make sure that you drink your coffee in a time that does not affect your sleep. Because do you know, try to observe, the moment you are not able to sleep well the previous night, you can expect worsening of neuropathy symptoms the following day. Lack of sleep can actually increase pain sensitivity, especially when we are talking or when we are pertaining to nerve pain. Plus, although 3-in-1 coffee is very convenient to buy, it is inexpensive, it is very convenient to prepare, and it is delicious. Not many are aware that one sachet already contains 10 to 13 grams of sugar. That is already equivalent to 2 to 3 teaspoons of sugar. And here is the funny part. Because some would drink 3 cups of coffee a day. One in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one during overtime. It is already equivalent to 39 grams of sugar. Plus, Blood sugar spike is well documented to actually worsen neuropathy symptoms. That's why this observation is legit and valid. Plus, do you know that the creamers used in 3-in-1 coffee, it is not pure milk. It is a type of fat that can actually damage our blood vessels and even the nerves. What are the best practices if you are fond of drinking coffee but you are currently suffering from numbness and pins and needle sensation either in your hands, lower leg, and your foot? You choose black coffee. You can add milk. Your choices would include evaporated milk, low-fat milk, or even almond milk if you are on a ketogenic diet. You need to avoid 3-in-1 coffee, especially if you're currently suffering from neuropathy symptoms, if you are pre-diabetic, or if you have been diagnosed with diabetes. Drink your coffee early in the morning or early in the afternoon, so long as it does not affect the quality of your sleep. 
and be sure to drink water after having your coffee because coffee is a diuretic and we need to prevent dehydration because dehydration can actually worsen the symptoms that you're feeling. So yes, coffee is not a problem when you're currently suffering from nerve pain. You can have it so long as you're drinking it at the right time and you are having black coffee. You see, small habits, if you are doing it wrong, it can actually worsen your neuropathy symptom. Such as the five activities that are not known to many which can actually worsen sciatica symptoms. So if you're currently suffering from sciatica and you want to prevent surgery, you can check on this video here. I will put the link in the description box below. If you have reached the end of this video, please let me know what are you currently drinking early in the morning? A. Black coffee, B. 3-in-1, or C. You are not a coffee lover. I would really love to know. If you're currently suffering from neuropathy symptoms, do you know you have five foods which you need to prioritize to help with nerve repair? I will put it in the link below. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you on our next video.